Welcome to tutorialsinhand.com. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to write a Java program to calculate simple interest. So let's move towards Eclipse and see how to write that program. In mathematics, we have learned this formula simple interest is equals to principal into rate into time and all divided by 100. This is the formula that we are going to use in our program. As we already know that we are going to write our programs within the main method as discussed in previous videos. So we will use a scanner to allow user to in enter input from the console. So you can also pass on the hard coded values like uh, 100.00 but that would be specific to only this principle and you will not be able to enter any other principle or the user will not be able to enter any other values but as a programmer you should make the life of users very easy and thus you should allow users to enter any value of his choice rather than this type of hard coded values so in that case we will be using this scanner object to allow the system to use the value in the double format we have already discussed how you can use a scanner to enter values of different data type like integer float or anything else so you can visit that video tutorial the links will be shared in the description section. Till then, just try to understand how we are going to write this program. First, we are going to show a message on the console to the user that you are required to enter principal. And then we will accept the value from the user in double format and will be storing that value in a variable named principal, which is of type double. And then once the user has entered principal we are going to ask him to enter rate on the console and then user will be entering the double value rate from the console and that would be stored in a variable named rate which is of type double and then we are going to ask user to enter a value that is in that is time which will also be in double format and once these uh, values are accepted then we are going to close this scanner because it is a good practice in Java to close the resources that we have opened to prevent any form of leakage. Now we have got our principal, we have got rate, we have got time from the user and now we are going to use that values to calculate the simple interest based on the formula that we have seen earlier. Now we are just simply copy and pasting that formula over here. The, the value that it returns will be simple interest that we are storing in a variable named simple interest and that is of type double and the simple interest that is returned will be printed over here on the console and that user will see that what is the interest that the person has received. Now let's try to explain the same thing with the help of program by executing it. So let's run this program. Now see once your code enters this main method a scanner object will be created and once a scanner object is created the first statement that it sees is enter principal and that you are seeing on the console where it is asking the user to enter the principal value so for simplicity reason we will be entering the simple values not the complicated one in doubles like uh, 1 lakh dot 99999 we will be simply using this 1 lakh and then once you have entered this value and it has received the value and stored it in principal variable this value is received in the principal variable then the next statement that gets executed is enter rate and now you have to enter the rate in double format so let's make a 10 dot 0000 for now you can enter any value like 10 dot 999 10.976 whatever you want and then press enter and then the next statement that you see would be asking you to enter time once uh, you start entering then your console will receive the value and store it in time variable so let's pass the value that would be stored in this time variable which is of double time so our time will be suppose five years and now once you press enter then this scanner object will obviously uh, get closed and then it will 
use the principal rate and time that the user has entered from the console to calculate a value which will be the simple interest and that will be stored over here in the simple interest variable and it will be printed as a simple interest like simple interest is equals to the value so let's press enter now and see what is the value this is the value that will be yielded as a simple interest on the principal of 1 lakh rupees at the rate of 10% for 5 years. You can understand it in this way that you go to a bank and ask them that you want to open a fixed deposit of principal 1 lakh that will be saved for 5 years and the bank will tell you that okay this is the interest rate that we are going to provide that is 10 percent but obviously nowadays it's not 10 percent it is uh, very low that is around six this is simply an example so we are not going uh, for the reality you can enter any value based on uh, your choice and based on that you will be getting the amount your bank is offering you a rate of 10 percent and so according to this one lakh at the rate of 10 percent for five years will give you an interest of 50 thousand that means if you deposit one lakh for five years at this rate you will be receiving one lakh fifty thousand rupees at the maturity i hope you have understood how to write this program in java we will be using a method to write the same program in next video tutorial and link will be shared in the description section till then keep learning keep enjoying and we would also request you to please like and subscribe our channel thank you for watching the video till the end